Texas Yacht. Texas Yacht. Texas Yacht. All right. Just kidding. We thought we were done. And that was true until we weren't. Did one last uh, sweep with that thermal camera up in the KM. We were actually able to see some hogs in the wheat field again. So we parked the KM here just in the road, uh, next to the road, and worked our way into the field. Luckily, the wind was pretty good, and actually, having the wind, probably like 10 miles per hour wind or something, the gusts like that helped us with the noise a little bit. But we were able to get close, maybe 70 yards, I guess. Took a few shots. I think we probably have four or five down right now. So I was looking for one for a while, couldn't find it. I think Micah found a few. Patrick took a phenomenal shot on a boar for the or a hog for the out, and acoustics of the hit was beautiful. So he got that one. The challenge will be to find those. I'm gonna try try that Mavic Air 2 maybe tonight. It has an auxiliary light underneath, which is pretty bright. I wonder if I can use that to at least fly, hover like low over the beet field, fly it and see if I can find them with that light. Otherwise I think Micah found one or two, so I'm going to take that can m now in there, uh, stay in the patches where the, where the damage is already pretty bad, so I'm not pushing down any more wheat. Also we have one lane in there we drove in there, so we, I can reuse that. Uh, goal really is to uh, damage as little wheat as we can because hogs obviously do enough damage as it is. So let's see if we can find those hogs. So put everything in the can am I guess we drive over there, what? Or do you want? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty damaged all the way down. So we just used that drone with that auxiliary light underneath to look for the hog. Uh, Patrick shot, which was probably about 250 yards out. Didn't really have my hopes up, but we actually did not find it. So that's pretty, pretty freaking awesome. Let's go go drive over there while the drone still has battery, which is eight minutes, nope. and pick up that pig. I didn't think we were gonna find it. No, I didn't think either. That was pretty awesome. When you saw it, you weren't even second guessing. You knew it was it. I mean, something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something. Uh, dark showed up. I 
we'll just drive over the other one we were looking for over here. Find it that way, that would be great. Good job. It might help us next time if I take one of those poles and just put it in the ground where we shoot. Yeah. yeah. That way we have a point of reference. Good job drone and uh, good job Herr Fischer for that shot. That was about 200, 250 yards. I mean the sounds of it was just, it sounded like, like way far away. So like there, was like a, there was a pow and then a thump. Yeah. It was a good wave. 250 maybe. And then look at that shot placement, and that was a 300 blackout. How much holdover did you do? Probably about, about a foot. Foot holdover? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can come back anytime he wants. <laughs> Only problem is there's still probably two or three missing. So we have, we picked up two or three of those now? Three. 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 And I think there's probably at least one more now, which is the one which was to our left. Uh, Micah shot it uh, at some point, I shot it at some point, twice I think. Um, that one is still somewhere out there, but uh, I'm sure that the buzzers will take care of it. Or maybe we'll check in the next, uh, maybe tomorrow or something, come with a drone out and see if we can find it. So it's about 10, 30, 11 a.m. or something the next day. So I got, I think, four hours of sleep last night. So did Patrick. Patrick's on the way home to Dallas, but came out back to the field because there's probably at least one or two hawks we didn't find yesterday, which are in the field. And what I do not want is those being in the field and the farmer coming in the next week or so trying to harvest and then it's gonna run the combine over one of those hogs or the hog gets in there and could possibly damage anything. So I'm gonna take uh, the drone up, find these hogs and actually luckily, right now you guys can't see them but they were up just a second ago, I think they actually landed. But we have these turkey buzzards out here in Texas and uh, they do a pretty good job finding these hogs for us. So you can tell like where they're circling and then they, you know, obviously land. So they should help uh, pretty nicely uh, to find these hawks. I can see them fly around over that, in that field right now. So I'm gonna unload that KM. I have my boys with me today. Uh, I'm gonna take the drone up to see where the, the buzzards are, are sitting down. Take the KM through that one lane we have in this field already where we went through uh, twice now. So I'm just gonna re reuse the same lane, keep the damage to a minimum, and then drag these hawks out. But I mean, last night in this field, these hogs have done some damage to this field and I wasn't able to fly that drone yesterday because it was too dark. I mean, we couldn't really 
use it to to actually you know figure out how much damage there is but I'll, I'll see that right now i think once i take the drone up and uh, just seeing it from the ground i mean the front part of this field is basically all destroyed it's 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 done i don't know how much wheat the farmer would get out of this but it is pretty bad we probably saw between 60 and 80 hawks out there last night i mean probably more because we didn't see all the piglets so with all the piglets i'm guessing 80 maybe 200 uh, three different groups which came in oh yeah i can i don't know if you guys can see that but buzzards are picking up uh, getting up in the air again i think there's just from looking at the buzzards i think there's at least two two pigs on the ground somewhere so 80 hogs uh three groups uh, each of these groups between 20 and 30 hogs and uh it's it's uh the same field we've been you know starting two years ago and two years ago that we had this one night with 200 hogs in this field we definitely don't see those same numbers anymore so you can tell that us being out here and taking these these sows out the big sows especially does make a difference but there's still a lot of hogs out here so uh we need to keep doing that and even more so probably if, if we would have some you know thermal imaging on a drone uh there's obviously some legal aspects to it we need to consider but that would help it would help uh last night you know flying this drone uh on a very low altitude using that auxiliary light it actually helped i was i was uh, <laughs> pretty excited and, and positively surprised that we actually found that that hog that way and uh and then also with that thermal camera on top of the K&M, I i mean you know all this technology and i i you know i saw, see some comments in our videos like isn't that too much aren't you guys taking this too far well it paid off last night you know we used the drone to find this hog uh, we used the thermal camera on top to find another hog so everything combined is really working out right now and uh, i couldn't be happier with really, really how that can am turned out how the trailer turned out how, how everything works together in in uh, unison so you know Big shout out to our, our friends and partners, uh, Outdoor Power Sports and Gainesville, Infinity Conversions, who did this amazing work um, uh, with that trailer for us. So let's get the drone up in the air, let's get the uh, KM unloaded, and then uh, pull these hawks out of the field. See you guys in a bit. Yes, buddy. That's number 11. Didn't have to use the drone for this one because the buzzards found it for us. So there was a bunch of buzzards just taking off. So that's one of the piglets I, uh, we got last, uh, last night. So 11, I think there's two more out in the field. So let's go find those. Look at that big old pig. getting some rain right now we have some dark clouds up here but that's the last pig number three that adds our uh, confirmed kills and recovered kills to 13 from last night also glad I'm able to pull these out of the wheat field um, not leaving them from for the combine to to discover so now officially wrapping up this video we thought we would wrap it up twice last night already and then we kept going that was a successful hunt I think Patrick had a blast uh, Micah and I sure had a, had a good time, so 
Uh, that was a good, a good night last night. Enjoyed the hunt. Uh, hope you guys also enjoyed that, and uh, we'll see you next time, guys.